Hey everybody, welcome back to another review. Uh, today we're going old school Bowen designs. Uh, today we have the um, Spider-Man action Spider-Man. Um, I believe this is a um, web exclusive with the uh, water tower. Okay, so uh, as usual before we start, uh, let's go back to the beginning to see a semi unboxing and a quick assembly. Okay, so hang on. Alright, so uh, since this being a 1 6 to 1 8 scale, uh, the box is pretty small as you can see and then inside it you have the um, water tower base and then uh, spider moon itself. Okay, uh, and of course back in the days they didn't do art prints or anything uh, for 1 6 scale. And then this is what the box looks like, looks like it's sculpted by John Cleary and Randy Bowen. And uh, this one, I guess it's falling apart on me, so uh, I might have to glue it. But you know, it's your standard uh, color box. Okay, and I believe this statue uh, was a website exclusive um, with the water tower. The uh, regular one has a ledge or something like that. Okay, so let's put it together and see what it looks like. Okay, so we have the base uh, out. And uh, truth be told, um, after uh, reviewing all of the quarter scale statues, these uh, 1 6 to 1 8 one are very small. You know, if I take it back, and that's what it looks like. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I guess um, it's nice then that um, you don't have to waste a lot of space. Uh, and you can put this anywhere. Okay, so it looks like it's a one pager. So uh, Spider-Man's uh, hand is going to be in there. And this thing is solid. So it's quite heavy. I mean, for the, you know, 1-6 scale and everything. Okay, so uh, nothing special here. And then let's get uh, Spider-Man on. All right, so I have Spider-Man. Uh, it's very small. And like I said, after having uh, done quarter scale uh, statues, um, it's kind of a relief to get something small and compact. Okay, so it looks like it's a one pegger that's going to go right into that hole up there. And then uh, as you can see, this uh, in the olden days, they used to hand sculpt these. And you know, unlike now, where mostly it's done uh, digitally. Okay. So it's pretty cool. And then you want to, it's a square peg. So you want to fit in there. Just be careful that uh, I think that's all it's going to go. I don't want to jam it down there later on. I can't get it out. Okay. So we've got Spider Man on the um, water tower. And then. And let me give you a 360 of this. And that should hold. Um, Spider-Man is pretty light, so I don't think it'll break over time. But, you know, you never know. Okay, and then we're going to go back the other way. It's pretty cool. The only thing I wish is this thing would be taller. But that's not an issue because you can put it up high. Or if you have some books or whatever. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, so uh, let's go to the scorecard and uh, we will also have a uh, closer look. All right, going in for a closer look. Uh, I guess the first category will go with sculpting. Uh, this is a dynamic scope and I always love the action um, uh, scoped over, you know, standing around or the sitting around. Uh, and remember, this is um, used to be, uh, or this is done... Um, I guess by hand. So it's got some, I guess, now, compared to nowadays, it's a little bit more special, if you will. And then, um, you know, everything's done just right. It's not too muscular. And I noticed a lot of um, the modern sculpts, um, they try to give the character too much muscles. So as you can see, uh, it's got enough details, uh, even though it's hand sculpted. So this is really done well. And you know, being uh, Spider-Man being not a muscular or a huge character, um, this one's done nicely. And even the water tower. Uh, it would be nice to have it a little bit taller, but like I said, um, it's not a big deal. Um, you can just put some books or anything. Okay, and if you display this up high, it's uh, actually pretty good. Okay, for scope-wise, um, you know, I'm spoiled by what XM has been doing uh, since they came onto the scene. So I would give this a, um, I don't see any 
you know, anything wrong, maybe because it's a uh, smaller scale, you don't get a lot of details. But I would give this a nice um, 8.5 out of 10. Uh, it's just lacking some. But then I sort of like the more realism take on it because when Spider-Man has his suit on, um, even though it's tight, you're not going to see like every single, you know, muscle definition. And that's a little bit more realistic. Okay. And of course, uh, being a smaller scale, it does lack some details. Um, but that's okay. There, um, you know, he's wearing his mask. So <laughs> there isn't uh, much, uh, you know, details to miss. And these are all sculpted in the um, the web um, design on the suits. So it's really nice. Okay. So um, did I, I said uh, 9 out of 10, right? So I don't have any issues with this. Okay. So our next category we're going to go with is uh, fit and finish. That means it's the paint job and uh, if there's any mixed media. Um, if it um, uh, fits well and stuff. So uh, looking at this, um, you know, it's on an old, I guess, um, rooftop with a water tower. So it's all rusty looking. So, um, you know, you can't really go wrong there for paint. And then Spider-Man himself, it's got nice shading, as you can see. Uh, it's not a clean Spider-Man, which I like. Uh, you, the uh, outfit's kind of dirty looking. So that adds uh, to it, okay? So for paint uh, and finish, um, being only a um, 6 to 1 8 scale, uh, you do miss a lot of the details, uh, but then that's just what it is for this uh, scale. So I did not find any major paint flaw. I would have to give this um, probably a 9.5 out of 10, although I'm looking at the head, um, I don't know if you can see it. It's got some, you know, some... Uh, it doesn't look clean, but then that could just, you know, be the outfit being dirty. So we'll give it a nine and a half out of 10. Um, no paint, paint flaw that I can see, but it's missing, you know, just like his feet. It's just got, should be, you know, a little bit more, I guess, uh, detail. Okay. So, um, and then our next category is um, source material. So when you look at this, and as with most um, Bowen designs, it's going to be pretty close to the source material. Uh, there isn't a lot of um, artist interpretation. And this is the classic Spider-Man uh, red, white, and I guess blue, the white being the eyes, <laughs> um, uniform or outfit. And, um, you know, it just looks like uh, it comes right out of a comic book, okay? And um, the pose is apt for this. So uh, for uh, source material wise, I would give this a 10 out of 10 um, because there's no disputing that this is Spider-Man um, and the pose is actually pretty nice too. Of course, this, this was quarter scaled and we'd get the little web thing that shoots out and, you know, switch out head or something. Okay, so uh, our fourth category is um, art direction. Um, this is apt for Spider-Man, you know, he's in the comic books and in the movies, he's like swinging and all, doing all that uh, cool stuff. So, um, art direction wise, um, I would give this a 10 out of 10. Um, this shows a lot of, you know, action. Um, he's not attached to anything, so the only attachment is this part, um, his hand. So it, it's very natural, like some of the other Spider-Mans you might see, you know, the body might be attached to the side. So it does lose some, um, you know, suspension of disbelief, if you will. Although the um, Spider-Man for from uh, SciShow, the action one, that's, you know, going sideways, that's pretty cool also. I can't believe they pulled off that stunt. Uh, but this is also nice. He doesn't go sideways, but, you know, he, he's going, I guess, vertical. Okay. So, and you can actually uh, display this with some of the other quarter, sorry, um, one six scale, like the um, Green Goblin one. So, it's really nice. All right, so, um, art direction wise, I would give this a 10 out of 10. Uh, I don't have any issue with it. Um, it's very apt for this character, okay? If he was, you know, standing around like one of the very few first uh, Spider-Man statues, then that's not so cool. But uh, this is a nice action pose. Okay, and then our last category we have is uh, accessories. Um, the lowest grade score I can give is uh, five. That's like the lowest of the low. Uh, I would give this like a five. <laughs> uh, 
nothing wrong with it. It's just the accessories wise. No, you know what? I take it back. I'm gonna give it a five and a half uh, because of the water tower. Uh, it's nicely done, although it feels like it's a mini water tower, as you can see. Uh, so this thing should be like huge, you know, but that's just taking up space. This is good enough art direction wise. Uh, there's no attachment, not for six scale. Um, the best you would get is like, you know, the spinning hammer Thor or something where, you know, he's right, one where he's spinning the hammer and then one without the spinning hammer. Uh, and then the base is okay. It's apt for the character. Um, but you know, there's like no switch out. At least, you know, it's very small and compact. So you can just pick it up and place it anywhere. So that's the good thing. Okay, so five and a half, it's got nothing, no attachment. The base is okay, just a generic, uh, you know, uh, water tower. At least it's better than PCS though. This guy's with the, uh, you know, black ground base. Okay, so uh, going to the final score, uh, not an average. Um, I like this piece. Um, I wish they would have done this in like a, um, quarter scale but then again you know you get the sideshow one that's pretty uh, cool with him swing sideways I think it looks better than this but uh, I do like it um, it's apt for the character and it's mo the best thing is it's uh, compact so um, you know you can display this anywhere and it's light you know you can actually one hand it unlike the uh, um, XM ones I mean I love those guys but man some of those are heavy so um Overall, I would give this a, uh, it's lacking a lot of uh, accessories, but then it's understandable. This is old school Bowens, okay? Uh, back in the day stuff, um, and they didn't have many attachments. And being 1.6 scale, you're not going to get much attachment. Okay, so um, I would give this um, an 8.5 out of 10, just because I think it could be... Um, the tower could be a little bit higher, but then you can fix that by, you know, placing books or something. And then it'll be like a pie like that. Okay. And then it's got enough details. Um, and look, he's actually got a nose. As you can see, uh, SciShow's um, Spider-Man doesn't have um, much of a nose, unfortunately. And I pass on the first one because uh, it's like, it's just flat down, but this is the kind of attention to details I like. Uh, about Bowen designs, okay? And uh, the character is not overly muscular, so it's nice. Good shading and everything. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. And then uh, I think um, I have the XM uh, Spider-Man and Mary Jane, the quarter scale that's coming. It's in on the boat right now. Uh, so hopefully um, I can put a video um, for you guys, um, hopefully next week when it gets here, uh, but we'll see. Okay, so uh, I highly recommend this one. Um, I don't know. I haven't checked the uh, bay prices or availability, but I would recommend getting this if you're a Spider-Man fan. It's so you know compact and light, and it's a pretty cool um, figure. You can place it, you know, versus a bunch of other quarter scale. And you, um, sorry, not quarter scale, one six scale or so. Okay, so thanks, and we'll see you next time.